Hi you guys, welcome back to our channel. As promised, we are gonna discuss the U-Box, our entire experience, how we even finalized our move, and just tell you like the cost and the size and how everything fit. So if you're interested in that, keep watching. If not, keep watching. <laughs> and um, yeah, we're gonna have all the details, all the prices, everything. So during our experience with moving, we basically researched a lot of uh, moving companies and got a lot of prices that was out of our budget. And it kind of scared us a little bit because we already had made a payment to have our apartment. Thank God we just kept going and knowing that we're gonna find something that is within our budget, which was kind of the scary part, but we did, we did find it. First one that we researched was Roadway and Roadway, basically they would come, they could either pack for you or you could pack it all up yourself and then they would uh, basically load it into the truck. And the way they move is you would share a truck with someone else going in that direction. So your stuff would be like taking up a certain amount of square foot in that truck with other people's things. And each square foot is a price, honey. <laughs> and then also calculating the distance from the from your home. Like let's say you live in an apartment building and you live in on the third floor, they would calculate that all the steps if there's no elevator how far is the elevator so he mentioned that all these things would be calculated but for us like we told him like we would pack everything and we did get two quotes we got the first quote was for four thousand two hundred and six dollars and that would be because the amount of stuff that we had which was three, no, four beds, uh, three mattresses, a whole bunch of boxes. At the time, we didn't know how many, so everything was just based off of estimate. We did mention that we wanted to bring our bikes. Oh, two dressers, actually three dressers, but one was larger and two were smaller. A computer desk and a lot of, um, like, we had like a lot of like plastic bins. So he said for all of that, it would be about that price. But then I asked him, can you do another estimate without the bikes and without the dressers? And he basically said it would be, I don't remember the price, but it was like literally not that much off of 4,206. And for us, that was just way out of our budget because that, like, we, that alone was, <laughs> that's two months rent or something, right? If you think about it. So we couldn't afford to, use use them even though they have really great reviews so we just decided we got to move on so then i went back to do my research and i looked up upac and upac um it was pretty much the same option but you would have to account for the parking in the street where we lived we did have a driveway so that was that would have been an option for us to park in the street but we weren't sure so we just got the estimate with parking on the street and they actually said because you're in the city in new york city it's a specific time frame that they would come for you to pack and then you would pretty much have to be packed within those hours so to have it would have had to have been between those four hours and then they will come back and pick it up i'm so happy we did not go with them just because we took longer to pack um, we underestimated how many boxes we would need even though we had things in plastic bins we did need about 16 boxes and so we had to keep going back and forth and Jeffrey didn't have a car so that also took time he had to ride his bike to get boxes and stuff so just imagining having to have the u-pack there on the street if that was the option we would have to take we would not have been packed within those four hours and we would probably have to pay a fee for like the tickets because they said if you're not done or like it's alternating sides you'd be charged the fee for it so we didn't go with upac and again they were two thousand two hundred and seventy eight dollars and so i called pods and pods they were the same thing because again it's just a shipping container that you fill in 
and they just drop it off. They pick it up. They take it to their storage place. And then they, I guess once they have a whole bunch of pods, they will pretty much, if they're going in the same direction, all those pods will go on a truck and then they will deliver it to the closest pod storage area in your city. And then someone within that city would have to come pick it up and bring it to us. Or you can go pick up your pods if you have like a car that does that attaches things to it. So for them, it was 2,878. And for this quote, it was similar to the other with paying for street, having to pick it up within a certain amount of time. Uh, the only thing was their storage rate was more than you pack. And I was like, are we moving our stuff or not? Cause I was getting kind of nervous, but it was just like, Jeffrey was like, no, we got to figure out a way if we have to do U-Haul and we just not, cause we didn't buy our flight tickets yet. So we were just, did we buy our flight tickets? I don't think we bought our flight tickets yet. And we basically was like, if I just, if he just has to drive the U-Haul and we go on the plane, but I didn't want to do that. I didn't want us to separate. Um, so I kept looking into U-Haul even though he said to look that up. And then I was like, babe, they have a, they have a box. And so I was just like, oh, wow. Like maybe we could use them. Let's see how much the price is. But I was kind of freaking out because I thought maybe the price would be similar to UPAC and similar to pods. And I was highly excited because they had the same qualifications. However, their price was cheaper. It was $1,778. And that was within our budget because we didn't want to spend on moving more than 2000. We were moving everything anyway into the, into the bin. So just the fact that like, you know, charging the storage fee, we didn't really want you to hold our stuff. That's not really our fault that it's spending overnight in a facility, but I get it. You know, they, they have to charge you for certain things, but for us, like we just needed to be cost efficient. And so we looked it looked deeper into it, looked at our reviews. We looked at comparisons on YouTube about pods and U pack and U box and which one is better. Um, in terms of the size, U box is smaller than U pack and smaller than pods. Um, and basically, like they give you the option of having more than one U box come to your house, but you would still pay for that. So like the box itself, like they would, you would have to pay for the two boxes basically. But I, I can't quote, you can't quote me on this. I don't know if it's just one travel fee or if it's two travel fees, like the length of the distance, because that's, a, that's also how they get paid. It's not based on the square foot, like how roadway was, because technically you just have this one compartment of a box and they, it's just going to be shipped with a whole bunch of boxes. So you had the option of buying more than one box. So I'm assuming you would pay the storage fee for both box and the actual box, but not the distance. I don't know. You would have to call them and find out. But for us, all we needed was one. And we were like, no, if we need more than one box, that would not be an option. We will have to give away our things, which we actually did. So now I'm going to talk about our experience with the box. Their customer service was absolutely amazing. Like they were able to like answer all my questions so I can make my decisions. It was easy to like figure out online. I didn't need a quote per se. Like they gave me a quote, but it wasn't like that off from what we paid. I think that, I think because they didn't actually know our location yet of where they were going to drop it off. So I think that's what it was. But customer service was just absolutely amazing from the person I talked to on the phone to like the person that called me again to reassure like, oh, where do you want to um, drop it off? Like in terms of the street or the driveway, um, how long would you need it? If you And then the person that dropped off our box, he was very friendly. He um, showed Jeffrey how to, you know, do everything. And then he said, you know, just text me. Like he called before he was coming. And then he said, you know, text me, even if it's at 12 a.m. at night and you're done packing, as soon as I wake up, I'll just come and get it. Like he was very um, hospitable. And then when we got it dropped off at the storage center, we also got an email, like they were just alerting you at every step of the way. So you weren't really concerned. 
And also within purchasing this whole, whole thing, you have the option of paying for insurance, like coverage for your items up to, it's like they cover up to $10,000 if it's lost or damaged. And it was like $25. So we just opted for it just, you know, just to be safe. The only thing like that was like really, really, we didn't put our electronics, like we didn't put our computer, we didn't put our laptop, I didn't put my sewing machine, but we did put our TV, our 40 inch, right? So um, I think like in terms of, electronics like we didn't we, that's the only thing we put but i we did put things that were very valuable to us like my dress form or like our memories um our photo albums and stuff like that so those kind of things you know ten thousand dollars can't replace but we were just like you know what we'll just do it anyway but yeah like so every step of the way you box emailed us called us, text us, verified everything. Um, and they were also very clear about the breakdowns of like the payments. So it's not gonna just be the $1,778 pulled out right away. They broke it down three individual payments and it totaled 1,778. I just appreciated that actually. Like when I tell you the transition, the move, it just felt like so peaceful. Like the stressful part was doing the research but then once everything was, I wouldn't say stressful, it was just overwhelming because I was doing schoolwork with the kids, the excitement for moving, and then also like, you know, just house things. And that part, it, it, you know, within looking and researching, I think I just got overwhelmed, but it wasn't like I was like, dang, I don't wanna do this. I wanted to do it, I was excited to do it, but then once we paid for like, you know, we knew we set aside this amount of money for moving um, and everything started pulling out. We were just like, okay, wow, this is so seamless. This is so, this is so at peace, you know? So we were really excited about that. So the time frame for us to get our box, to ship it off and to get it here, it was about 14 days. Um, they don't rush it, right? They give, they, they tell you that in advance as well. So they said your expected delivery, and that's before you pay too. They tell you like what your expected delivery date was. We weren't in a rush for us to get our stuff. So we were fine with it. And also since it fell within our price range, we were absolutely fine with it. So we did take precautions and we did pack a separate box for us to have like our essentials that we couldn't bring on the plane because we weren't paying, or I don't think we had the option to for a domestic flight to pay for a suitcase or if we did no no that um ticket we bought we did not have the option for a for um a check-in bag and so we just shipped it and it was like 60 dollars a big large u-haul box with all of our essentials that we would need like shampoo our soap the kids medicines and stuff like that and that just was like held us over until our U-Haul box came, which it, yeah, it took 14 days and they were literally like calling me like, oh, just prepping you, it's about to come, blah, blah, blah. And then the person texts me like they're 10 minutes away. He had issues finding our, our apartment, but like he was just like very like hospitable and like understanding and, you know, and then he got here and he said, again, like for him to like, for us to text him when we're done, he'll just come pick it up. And so, yeah, like, the time frame for us wasn't bad, but some people may want their things quickly, I guess. So it just depends on what you want, what your budget, what your budget so, is. So, so we got blue tape and we marked the length, the width, and the um height. Yeah. <laughs> and like we kind of like estimated where the height was so we can know how we're gonna sort this box before it comes. Cause we literally just wanted it to be dropped off, pack it up and sent away. We didn't want to hold it another day because we were just like, I think you had like three days, but we were just like, we just want to get it out of here. Like we don't want to see it. We don't want to see nothing. We don't want to prolong the moving process. So we literally, it took us like, we started packing ahead of time because we knew the dimensions, we packed and started putting things in the living room in the in the footage of it. And we were like, is this everything gonna fit? Like we were freaking out, but we realized like when we get the U-box, we could actually go up higher. So how we were laying it out in the living room was just to protect 
anyone from walking and not having a sliding box on them, right? So like in the U box, you have to stuff it. And they also explain to you how you should pack because you have to make sure there's no like spaces in between um, the boxes so nothing shifts. And so we didn't have that option in the living room, but we did have an estimate of like if our stuff would fit. And so the, si the size of the U box is four feet, six inches. That's the width. The length is seven feet, nine inches inches and the height is six feet nine inches and so with that we only have if you want to consider it like a studio space right because again we were living in our in-laws house so keep that in mind we only had a bunk bed a, a toddler bed and our queen size bed so they had three mattresses and we didn't have our mattress um, cause we just threw it out since it was really old anyway in a queen size bed frame. So we broke all of those down and we stacked it in there. We broke down, uh, Jeffrey's mobile desk, um, and it became flat and we took apart my mannequin, but the whole body of the mannequin can't be broken apart. So... Um, we knew, and that was one of the reasons why we know we needed to pack our stuff because I wasn't giving up my man, my dress form. Um, so we had that, then we had about 16 U-Haul boxes, sorry, not 16, 19 U-Haul boxes. About four of them were large U-Haul boxes and six and 15 of them were the medium size U-Haul boxes. And we also had, um, about 14 plastic bins. If you like, if you know, like those storage bins, like a large size, most of them were like that size and we just stacked it all up. And then we had like 12 sneaker boxes. If you're familiar with like the container store type of compartment plastic boxes, like we had those, um, seven computer like, um, containers. So they were like small, containers that can fit on your desk or under your desk. We had those. Um, we had my, oh, sorry, our TV. Like I mentioned before, our 40 inch TV. We had three laundry bags because knowing that we were moving, we were caught up and so busy with moving that we forgot we had laundry. And also we had blankets that were still dirty. So like big comforters. So we had three laundry bags full of, of, of clothes, but that was like, you know, we were able to like squish it into wherever was like an open space. We also had a suitcase filled with like our food and also some of Jeffrey's stuff, but we wrapped that all up in like a blanket to support it from like shifting. Um, we had a large picture frame and a, a medium sized picture frame. Like when I say large, I mean large, like huge. It was my artwork. Um, if you could see it in the back over there and it's glass and it did not break in. Thank you, God, because how we packed it, like we wrapped it up in blankets and like, and that's the thing too, they provide blankets, um, moving blankets. So like if, so like our frames, like we were able to wrap it around. We didn't have to buy the saran wrap. Um, if you watch our vlogs, you saw, um, but they also wrapped, they also gave you the blankets, like the moving blankets. Um, but we also was smart enough to use our blankets, like for certain things, um, just to keep support, like even with packing our boxes, instead of buying paper to, um, wrap glass and stuff, I used all of my old Trader Joe's bags and just use that. So you gotta find tips. I could do a sustainable packing. We try to be as sustainable as we could, but you know, we did have to buy boxes, but if you wanna see that type of video, I can explain it to you if you'd like. Also, we had like those Ikea baskets that can fold flat. They're like, and then they turn into cubes. Um, we had about eight of those. So we just flat flattened it down. And then we also had like those baskets that you can put under the bed. Um, or I guess those are considered the bins, I guess. But we left everything that were in them. Like we never took anything out to buy boxes. We just left all those, all the items in there. We just secured it with like clothes. So nothing shifts. 
because a lot of um jeffrey's like like you had like lights i think he had like lights and stuff like that in his container so like he just wrapped it up with like an old t-shirt from the, and we utilized our laundry too we took some of the dirty clothes and wrapped the things that are breakable you know that you couldn't use the bulky um blankets from u-haul with um so we used some of our dirty clothes wrapped that up and then um packed it and after that it was just like miscellaneous things that we were trying to fit like like Jeffrey's mom had given us a comforter when we went to say goodbye. So then we had to like stuff that in. And then, um, because we literally had like no more space, like, but we were like, but it was like little pieces of space. And then she, uh, Millie had gotten like some toys for Christmas that she never opened yet. So it was like, dang, I gotta open the box so it could fit and like separate the toys and like squish it into little areas. Um, we realized we weren't going to fit our dressers, which was a large and two mediums. And so, um, Jeffrey didn't want to break it down. It probably could have fit on the side, but we didn't want to break it down because it was so many screws, but we did end up giving it away to, we posted it on Instagram and two people reached out and we just gave it to them. Um, we couldn't fit the kid's bike or Jeffrey's bike, um, or the skateboard. <laughs> Um, cause those, the reason why I was like, oh, because we had issues before with his bike and someone had stolen it and then we got it back when we lived, um, at his mom's house when it got delivered. And so like, you know, Millie was practicing with it and then, you know, Nash was practicing with it. So, you know, all three of them had it. So it had memories to me, but I just let it go. Like, you know, hopefully like, you know, we get something that will bring us more memories, you know? And so we didn't bring those bikes. Um, we didn't bring the basketball hoop because it wouldn't fit and we don't have a backyard. It's an apartment. <laughs> and what else did we leave? We left the kitchen set they got for Christmas. Um, Jeffrey hated building that thing and I knew he was not going to unscrew all those things. Um, so we did leave that and we, did, we forgot Nash's basketball thing, but it wouldn't have been able to fit if we remembered anyway. And if you check out our moving vlog, you'll see how we fit everything because we did show um, it. Well, and then actually, we'll the last thing that I do want to say is that once we got everything, we just felt like that was so seamless and we would definitely shop with U-Box again um, on our next move because we are going to move again. The point of this big move is to one day own a home own some space some backyard and just enjoy nature and trees so we will definitely be moving again but i feel like we may not like we may not can, or we may not be able to just use one box we may have to use more than one and or we may just use a truck a u-haul truck um but jeffrey and i definitely want to manifest having movers though because the type of tiredness we we had, like I was fine up until like the last day because I was exhausted because I had to like pack our stuff, but then I also had to cook. Then I also had, we have also had to watch, you know, take care of our three kids, wash them up, you know, do homeschooling and all that stuff. So um, towards the last day of packing, like getting everything in like I think they were even up to like one o'clock in the morning and they were like kind of getting restless because all they could do at this point was just watch TV um and then also I can also explain to you guys like what did we do within those 14 weeks I mean 14 days in terms of like homeschooling and um in terms of like what things did we pack and set aside so we can have when we're here and while we're waiting because we were just like not trying to spend any extra money we just wanted to make sure like you know we, we bought essentials until we got our stuff so if you enjoyed this video on our experience with you box make sure to share this video and like this video and also comment below are you moving are you, in, are you interested in any of these companies that we mentioned? Do you have any questions that we didn't answer? Just let us know, okay? And we will see you in the next video. Feel the love.